welcome back to my channel my name is Janelle Samora and this is scent talk from my closet the fragrance closet on this channel we do go over all things fragrance we talk about designer fragrances we go over niche perfume houses indie brands clones and dupes of original fragrances we cover celebrity fragrances all things fragrance on this channel layering combos lotions and hair oils and so if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified to new videos because you never know which perfume topic, which perfumes we are going to put head to head, all that on this channel. And today, <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can unravel this mystery that I got going on here. If you are a curious cat like myself, I just need to know how not only one perfume smells, but if it has an EDT version and an EDP, ver an Eau de Toilette and an Eau de Parfum version, I just need to know what are the differences? Which one, um, can, you know, am I going to like more? Which one is going to be uh, suitable for what weather or what occasion? I don't know. I just, I just, I'm a sucker for flankers and I'm just, I, this is as far down the rabbit hole as I have gotten with the Dior uh, Poison line. I know that it has just been long running. Um, man, I found some dated back to what, 1985 with the original Poison? So the original Poison was um, this bottle design. They kept it all the way since 1985. There was a designer by the name of Veronique uh, Monade? Metternard? I'm not sure. I spilled coffee all over my notes. <laughs> it has been a Friday, okay? This, this, and that's what I'm saying. It just, it didn't help today um, trying to unravel this puzzle. And I really hope that I can be clear and concise and not confuse anyone with, um, with my descriptions of these fragrances. So, basically these came into the collection this is the newest one in the collection it's it's barely like right here yeah the fill level where are we yeah we're barely at like about right here i do love this fragrance dna i do i gravitate towards these the sweeter ones and this is a poison girl edt so eau de toilette and this is hypnotic poison eau de toilette as well and so these are the sweeter options and I'm pretty sure there's others as well. <laughs> and there's definitely EDP, the Eau de Parfum versions of both of these. So um, a long time ago when I was trying to decide, not a whole long time ago, but a while back when I was trying to decide between these two, um, I decided, oh, I'll just get the Eau de Toilettes because it's always hot down here and I'm probably better off getting the, the Eau de Toilettes. And um, ever since, I've still been ridiculously curious about the EDPs. And so I will mo more than likely be getting a small a small sample. I want to say that the EDP is discontinued, possibly. I mean, I keep hearing that everywhere. Um, so I don't even know if I'll be able to get a hold of it. But anyways, point is, Hypnotic Poison EDT, I went ahead and wore that on this side today. And the Poison Girl EDT, I wore that on this side. So, um, I did apply these fragrances at about seven this morning and I was in so good, so good, by the way, you know, I do, I'm a huge fan. I do over spray this. It has a huge dent because I just, I just find myself respraying. It's just, it is what it is. That is what I keep finding myself doing. It's completely gone, completely from all existence on this side. <laughs> I'm gonna spray it. In Dior Poison Girl EDT, oh my gosh, we find top notes of frosted orange, bitter orange and lemon, and then mid notes of neroli and orange blossom, grass rose, damask rose, and base notes of vanilla, caramel, tonka bean, heliotrope, and cashmere. So it did give me a good hour and a half two hours of of the of the the opening and the heart i did get a good two hours was it strong and projecting no 
but I could smell it, I could enjoy it, but that was it. It gave me like two hours. And um, no wonder I kept, you know, whenever I've worn it before, I have a little decant of it somewhere as well that I made for myself to put in my purse uh, because it is, you do have to respray this perfume no matter if you layered your lotion like I did this morning. I layered my unscented FNK Scentology lotion and uh, that's the only reason why I can think that it gave me two hours. <laughs> So, um, you know, it does, I just, what, the dry down to this fragrance. It reaches a dry down pretty darn quick. <laughs> you know, um, after the heart notes shine and all that good stuff, then, um, and, and the rose is not pronounced in this fragrance at all. It is more like, a, oh my gosh, I don't even know. It is very gourmandish. It is very sweet. I want to eat it. I want to drink it. It's like a root beer. Both of these remind me like of a, a root beer. Oh my gosh. Okay. I totally inhaled that. <laughs> um, so it reminds me also of like a citrus cake. Okay. Not heavy. Not heavy at all. Kind of just like a citrus cake with that vanilla in the dry down and then I get whiffs of almond. The heliotrope is an almond like vanilla fragrance or note and I do get that in the dry down and it is very enjoyable. However, it is a skin, complete skin scent. You cannot, it doesn't go far, it doesn't go far at all. So if that is important to you, then this fragrance is definitely not for you because it does not, it's not a performer. It's just by any means not a performer. Um, but gosh, do I ever love the smell of this. Whew, okay, so that was the Poison Girl Eau de Toilette. And I have had it for a while. I do enjoy it. And actually what I have been doing when I wear it actually is layering my oil perfumery hypnotic poison underneath. Even underneath the Poison Girl. Because I just feel like they smell so similar to me. But let's go over the notes on the Hypnotic Poison EDT. And this one has top notes of coconut and plum and apricot. Coconut, plum, and apricot. Very, very different opening from the frosted orange, bitter orange, and lemon that we got over there. Oh, yeah. But, you know, it's still in the same scent family to me. Like, just very much in the same realm to me but different, but different. <laughs> so coconut plum and ap apricot, and then mid notes of Brazilian rosewood, jasmine, caraway, tuberose, rose, and lily of the valley. That's what we have in the heart of this. Okay, I can, t okay, so it is a little more heavy on the flowers on this side, in the mid, like when once, okay, so, the opening is very, very reminiscent to me of the same DNA. Um, it is also pretty fresh. I mean, let me see. The coconut is not like, ah, I couldn't spray it. Oh, yeah, they have that same root beer vibe that I get like on initial spray. And then this one has a little more, it's a little more flowery. The roses Whereas the roses on the Eau de Toilette Poison Girl never come out for me on this side. They really don't. I'm going to spray. I'm going to spray it again. They don't come out. Even when in the heart of this. No. I mean, that's the top. But, you know, in the heart of this, I don't ever remember them coming out whatsoever in the. Yeah, in, in the. In the heart of this, I don't get flowers. Here, I get a little bit of flowers. I get a little bit of that flowers, you know, and uh, you know, it's probably the lily of the valley because whenever there's lily of the valley, I'm really sensitive to that. So, and it smells very flowery. Um, so the base on hypnotic poison is vanilla, almond, and sandalwood. So once it gets to the base, it, it there's the almond. And so that's why I really also in this dry down, even though it was very close to my skin, I, it complimented it complemented each other, the both sides. So I did, you know, I could probably even layer these two without a problem, um, but they did both become skin scents definitely. And then, and then around maybe, maybe tops 
four hours and that might be giving it too much there was nothing left <laughs> there was it was gone completely gone and i did not take a travel size of either one of it with me um you know and so i guess maybe that's why i'm spraying myself right now because i missed i missed fragrance i guess you could say there was if if I smelled really hard, my scrubs, I'm like, oh, okay, there you are. But it wasn't really with me. So that was a, a bit disappointing, not going to lie. Um, I guess I've just never paid attention to how weak these are. And it's just, it is what it is. So, ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't get upset. With these fragrances, I will definitely be layering the Hypnotic Poison Oil. And um, I just found on the FNK, I was like, hey, does FNK Scentology have um, oil for this? And they do. They have of the Hypnotic Poison and also of the Poison Girl. So I'm tempted to get some, you know, to put in my hair and on my pulse points and be able to extend the life of these fragrances. Because I do love the way they smell. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a hold of the EDP version of these fragrances. And then even if I get a hold of them... I don't know if I'm going to like the way that they smell because they're supposed to be different as well. The EDP of the Hypnotic Poison has licorice and almond in the top. Then it has jasmine, sambac, and orange blossom. So there's no lily of the valley. Um, you know, there's no, it doesn't open up with coconut or plum or apricot. So you're going to have a different opening. I'm a little worried about the licorice. <laughs> I just recently tried Killian's Lue Verde. I think that's how you say it. And it was just so licorice to me. Just if you are a fan of licorice, Killian's Lue, Lue Verde. I think it's part of the rocks collection or yeah, the rocks that one is all licorice <laughs> and I can't I can't do that I can't handle it I can handle root beer I can handle play-doh you know because they do reference that these smell like play-doh as well I cannot do licorice I don't I don't like the taste I don't like the smell crazy there's like a fine line between licorice and root beer apparently for me how do they make root beer is it with licorice no I don't know I'm sorry. This, this was wild card Friday and it turned in con, into confusion Friday for me. My goodness. Long, long day. Okay, so in the dry down of the Hypnotic Poison EDP that I do not own or have, um, I probably should have got samples, right? Oh, but it was a wild card. So I'm not full on, I was not full on prepared for this wear test. It wasn't something that I planned. You know, it was just like, here you go to myself, you know, here you go, put these fragrances on and see how they go. Um, so anyways, I didn't get to order, um, and kill my curiosity. <laughs> so this is all that we have. So basically in the dry down of this one, we have vanilla and tonka bean. It's supposed to be a deeper, darker fragrance, like really deep, really dark. I am struggling to even know if this hypnotic poison is the EDP version is the EDP version or the EDT version. Here's where I put the well, it smells a lot more like root beer in this oil. A lot more. A lot more pronounced. I wonder. That's another thing I have to go and check out. Is what is this hypnotic poison? You know, what are the notes in this one? Um, from oil perfumery. So, I, I think that that would layer beautifully with both of these fragrances. Ah, the poison girl. Eau de Parfum is the one that I'm just like really curious about because it has a lot of the similar notes. It's just missing the, um, what is it? The frosted orange is not there and the caramel is not there. It opens up with the bitter orange and the lemon. They drop the frosted orange in this, in this opening. It has the damask rose and the grass rose and the orange blossom. It's also missing the neroli. So it doesn't have any neroli. Then uh, in the bottom, uh, that's where it's missing the caramel. It has vanilla, almond, tonka bean, toluba sam, sandalwood, cashmere, and heliotrope. So yeah, I believe it's the heliotrope in, in the EDT version that I wear tested today. I, or, you know, that I, that I wild carded today. <laughs> I think it's the, the almond, um, the heliotrope and the almond vanillic smell coming from that flower. And then the almond in the hypnotic poison dry down that was just very reminiscent of each other. Yeah. Yeah. But definitely not a loud fragrance by any means. It's it's not 
offensive. It's not cloying. It's not overbearing, overpowering. It's not to me. I'm, I, I love a sweet fragrance, so it's definitely not too sweet for me. It's right up my alley. <laughs> and um, yeah, so layering it just with lotion didn't work. Um, so maybe possibly with some oils. And um, yeah, because I love the smell of these. It's just so good. <laughs> so that was that. Um, tomorrow, I did get my perfumes to Marley Casili in. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I wish it would have come in for today, <laughs> but uh, it came in already. So here's our original perfume de Marley, perfumes de Marley Casili, and it is going to go head to head with Bella the Irresistible from Be Layered, and we're going to see we're going to see how they compare if one outlasts the other. Um, yeah, let's just break that down. And then as a little added bonus, a little added bonus, I would like to kind of. Also compare it to this fragrance, the Navitas Parfums Edola, because they say that it smells really, really close. But honestly, just smelling it from here, because it obviously spilled, and I still haven't figured out where. <laughs> uh, I know that I gave like a 2ml sample of this fragrance um, to, to in a fragrance swap, but I mean, that's way more than 2mls, and I have not worn it, so I have no idea what happened there. Anyways... <laughs> Um, no use crying over spilled perfume. Uh, Navitas Perfumes, Edola, is supposed to kind of smell similar. So I just kind of wanted to spray this and see and see if it did. I won't wear test it. Obviously, I cannot wear test all three. But um, I'll just go over the notes for that one along with the other two. And thank you guys so much for entering the FNK Scentology giveaway. The... the lotion of your choice whether you want it to smell like baccarat rouge 540 love don't be shy tom ford's bitter peach lost cherry anything that they carry on their site you're going to get to choose the scent that you would like for your oil for your oil for your argan 9 whipped argan 9 oil lotion and so good it's so good and um thank you so much to the owner for continuing to share that with us so today's the last video to enter and the instructions will be in the description bar and also it took a while but the burberry samples are here if you guys participated during burberry week and then i did ah! we still have them you see we still have them because it's just not my day i'm having a bad day <laughs> How are we going to turn this around? It's already nighttime, Janelle. Jeez. Okay. Husa. Husa. I need to take a shower. I need to put on my comfort fragrance, which is uh, Killian's Princess. Okay, that baby's going on tonight. Okay, it's going to be between the Embrace by Navitas Perfumes or Killian Princess. Yeah, I need that tonight. <laughs> so anyways, the Burberry... Um, Perfume samples are here, and so I'll be distributing those, mailing those out to the winners. Thank you guys so much for participating. Um, the winner of the lotion, that I believe has already been mailed out to you. Um, that comes directly from FNK. And that's all for today. Uh, I hope that, um, you know, I'm not... I'm not hardcore disappointed in this in this wear, um, you know, the fact that it's a skin scent and it disappeared on me because I went in pretty much expecting that. I just messed up by not taking a little a little decant with me. And then also, um, I'm, I'm just anxious to wear test it with the oil because I have worn it before and I know I got better results, definitely. So um, if you have not made your do or purchase like you don't have or own any of them i i would say definitely sample to see how it goes for you because what if um it just didn't go well with my skin chemistry what if i just ate it up you know there's some fragrances that some people say oh that lasts an hour that lasts two hours you know and then on other people's it'll go for days <laughs> so i mean it all just depends on on your skin chemistry as well but yeah these did not go well today as far as performance, longevity, uh, siage, none of that. <laughs> you have yourselves a great evening, great night. I'm going to see if I can turn mine around. <laughs> Stay safe. Bye-bye.